Hey girls, welcome to our tummy workout, sitting on a chair. It's a quickie, but it is a goodie. We're working our whole abdominal wall along with our obliques, working into our waist, and also working into our core strength. Enjoy our workout. Remember girls, if you'd like an extra challenge, always think about popping on your wrist weights and or your ankle weights. And vice versa, always listen to your body. If something does not feel right, I would like you to stop that movement exercise, reach out to me and well, let's find a solution, an alternative, because the idea is to keep you plugged in, keep you in the game, not to stop, but we don't want to create any injury. So always feel free, reach out. Okay girls, let's begin. All right, when you're ready, just sitting in a chair for me, inhale and roll back to the back of your chair and exhale as you're sitting back up. As you inhale, tuck your tailbone under and as you exhale, think about good posture. Just remember girls, not to use the back of your chair for support, but rather using your abdominals as your strength. I want you to roll back and then stay in that position as you lift one knee towards your chest and lowering it back down and then coming out of that into posture. Let's try it again. So four, three, two, one and sitting back up in good posture and again inhale punch in the belly exhale and then do four knee lifts working the lower abdominals rolling out through the crown and sitting up in good posture we've got two to go knee to chest working the lower abdominals rolling out sitting up for me last one four three two one and rolling out and sitting back up okay I want you to roll back and hold it and this time bring both those legs up and you're going to tap your toe down this time. So little toe taps and you're maintaining that abdominal crunch. So rather than flopping back into that chair, I'm using my abdominals, drawing my tummy in, tucking my bottom under, tucking my chin and just floating really those um, toes down toward the floor, making it light and you're really starting to activate those lower abdominals. All right, girls, and next one is sit up nice and straight for me, and this is going to work into our obliques. Hello, Pluto, come for a little visit. And so I'm working diagonally, so bring that elbow across your body and working diagonally, bringing it across. Good job. Exhale. And I'm sort of making that C shape. So I'm tucking my tailbone under as I add that twist. And it's just going to work all the right muscles, basically. <laughs> Keep going for me, girls. Okay, next one is spine twist. So once again, working into your obliques, keeping that mobility, flexibility through your lower back, through your hips, through your spine. And girls, this is just a great Pilates exercise. Next one, I'm a little bit confused where I want my hands at this point, but I want to do basically um, the teapot. So tip the, tea, the teapot over. I forget how we say that. But, you know, it's squeezing into your waist as you drop that elbow straight down to the side. And another good one for working into your waist area. Remembering, girls, not to use the back of your chair as support, shuffling forward at the front of that chair and thinking about your posture. Pluto is just loving this, having me work out by the pool. <laughs> Girls, I think you've made it. Congratulations and yay to Pluto. <laughs> if you've enjoyed today and you would like some free training, be sure to click on the link below where I have created a three-part video series where I share with you the three steps women over 50 take to be able to lose weight with ease. Okay, thanks for coming and I'll see you for our next workout.